Hi, this is Jennifer Dale, and for Christmas, I want my Googie. <laughs> That's very nice, Jennifer. <laughs> well, I want to welcome you to the studio of the pre-pre-recording of the great Googlehoff, a musical that uh, we're putting together, and thank you very much for coming into the studio today. Oh, Nick, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, you know, as a fellow artist, a fellow actor, and sometime colleague, I am just delighted to see you producing this with your absolutely amazing and eclectic career, we may well have wondered what you would do next, what you could possibly do <laughs> to top yourself, but I think that you I, have I, found I, it. I think uh, gangster movies, I'm tired of gangster movies, <laughs> Jennifer. Well, you know, you know I, Nick, here's aren't something. Aren't you tired of all these kind of like, I mean, really endless Gang, you know, just Absolutely. like guns and well, violence that's and why explosions. It's like, enough! I, yes, and that's why I have to tell you what a delight it is to read this script because, you know, I want to know whatever happened to the movie musical. I don't know about you, but, like, I belong to a, you know, a generation and a tribe of people who were raised on movie musicals. Our whole childhood was movie musicals, and I miss them. I do, too. And you remember in the afternoon when I was a kid, I used to see the Fred Astaire movies and, and those wonderful MGM musicals, you know, and they were so uplifting. Uplifting. And do you know what else this script reminds me of? It just occurred to me today. It reminds me, it has a feeling of something like the princess bride it's that zany wild romp that just is so entertaining and fun and makes you feel good well you know i'm i'm really glad that uh, we're getting an opportunity to do that you know both you and i have uh, been uh, done a lot of movies we've been uh, certainly in canada and in the states and all over the world and uh and i think it's time that uh you know we did something that was uplifting now you're you're also involved in, in quite an extraordinary project. Uh, several years ago, um, you and I did a, a play on the life of the great actress Eleanor Ducey. Yes, a project and, and very dear now, to both you, of our hearts. Yeah, and, and, and you are now in the process of actually doing a movie about it. Can you tell us something about that? Well, this is a script that, w that evolved out of my work with Antonio D'Alfonso, who was our original translator on the play that you and I did together. And it's a project that we began a long time ago and then left alone for a long time and have now come back to older, wiser, with bigger hearts and more to bring to it. And of course, we wrote the role, the leading role for myself, and we wrote the leading man role for you. And we really and believe in directing. this. directing. Yes, and Antonio is going to direct. It will are be you guys going to have a website up? Are you going to well, have a website up? Well, I think up? that we're, you know, we've become inspired by, by you letting us know about the Indiegogo process. Yes, and people, if you are interested in, in supporting this, I think, very valuable and important film, and it's definitely a Canadian film in the truest sense of the word, uh, please uh, support it, and you'll get further information as we go along. Uh, about how to do that. We're hoping, and you're hoping to start shooting when? Well, we would like ideally to be shooting that film, um, you know, all reasonable considerations underway. I would say about this time next year makes sense. You know, what's really wonderful is that both of these projects, the, the Duce Project and the Great Googlehoff, are really, are really stories that inspire the spirit. And what I, what I loved about Ducey, as you know, is the fact that she was, uh, certainly she was an actress that had transformed the, the face of acting 100 years ago, but she was able to bring to the people a sense of a spiritual life and a freedom and a revelation that, you know, we need desperately in this era of imprisonment. Don't Absolutely. You think? And Nick, you know, one of the great ironies about Eleonora Ducey was that in her own time, uh, she was a theater actress and only ever did one film at the age of 59. It was called Cenere, meaning ashes. And she, was, she felt so um, saddened that she came so late to that art form, that she was too old for that art form. So she had the right as an actress to say, you know, an actress lives her life at, a, at such a terrifying pace. She, she blooms for a moment and then withers like a bloom, only to die and leave no trace. And but she did leave a trace. But she did leave a trace, and Absolutely. that's the wonderful irony, is that she lives in the hearts of actresses and actors everywhere. And that is really the underlying 
uh, message of my film also because the, the leading character is a modern Italian woman, Canadian Italian woman actress who is in a kind of spiritual communion with Duse as an iconic internal spiritual guide. And what's interesting is that when Barbara Streisand um, uh, got her Oscar, her received her Oscar, she actually thanked Eleanor Duse. Yes, because yes, because we all know, you know, where that that seed, that pioneering spirit of the the purest and highest uh, aspirations of that art form began. Eleanor Duse was like the flashpoint in consciousness. For so I, I would assume that if Eleanor Duse was in this room, she would probably want her googie as well. <laughs> Absolutely. And I want to thank you Duse very, very much. gets her googie. And, and all together, let us say, <laughs> I, I want, want my googie. googie. Thank you, Jennifer.